We're at St. Ambrose Cellars. My name's Kirk Jones, and I moved to this area back in uh, the late 70s with the idea of getting back away from the big city and some, something rootsy like growing organic vegetables, making maple syrup, and we decided to land in Benzie County and we picked up a, a log cabin. Somehow we, we got the opportunity to buy a couple beehives. So we picked up the two beehives to help with our organic vegetable garden. And we did very well the first year. And we had a lot of interest and an opportunity came up to purchase a few more hives. We found a lot of friendly people and farmers that were willing to help us with our honeybees and gave us an opportunity to pollinate their fields. And over the years we built up relationships, the people in this rural area. And we did what jobs were available to us. We picked apples, we drove a school bus just to make ends meet. But slowly we were able to get to a place where we could be independent and work on our own endeavors. And it took a few years, but we got there. I would have never thought that over the years we would have 7,000 hives in two states and we would be employing beekeepers year round. I, I never thought that St. Ambrose Cellars would be at the place that's at now where we have huge tanks of our draft mead and we, we have 30,000 gallons in constant production. We're turning over constantly and bottling and canning. We started making our mead in our honey facility. And in two years, we outgrew it very quickly and we decided we had to do something different. We had to build a new facility. So we decided to get the property next door and we were inspired to build an iconic northern Michigan place that was like Lake Zen in Cross Village, but something that was ours, that, that reflected our values and our vision. We tried to imagine building something is with the resources that we had as, uh, as farmers and the farmer's income. And we started working in the dirt ourselves and laid it out. And as we went along, we, we brought people in from our community. We asked our friends and neighbors and local craftsmen, what could you, could you help us? Could you help us bring something special to th this project that we're building? We found these beautiful stained glass windows that came out of a Traverse City church. And then we, we had a local craftsman build our bar and he hand carved honeybees into it and grapevines and hand sculpted all this wood. The farmers were kind enough to let us go through their orchards and pick up the rocks. And then we had special stones and rocks on petrified wood and, and giant amethyst. And we placed all these stones in, in our pillars. So we, we brought in all these elements and a lot of them people discover on their own. We don't point them out. And every visit, there's something more to discover if you look hard enough. If there's one thing that is most important to everything we do here, it's the honeybees. The honeybees are the foundation. They make the honey. They give us the opportunity to make all the products we make. As we started harvesting our honey crop, we started accumulating these chunks of beeswax. So my wife, Sharon, decided to make some candles. So we were in our log cabin and we put, a, we put strings over the wash machine and dryer and she started dipping these candles and making body care products like salves and lotions. And eventually she started making soaps with natural oils and with a little bit of beeswax to make the bars harder. So we eventually took these beeswax products from the honeybees and brought them over to St. Ambrose Cellars in a kiosk and bring it all together into one place. It's day to day, I am happy to come work with our staff and we have so much fun together creating new products. And sure, there's the day-to-day -day drudgery and, and things like that. You have to wash in the floors and cleaning the tanks where we make the mead and, and all that. But 
It's so exciting for everybody to be involved in something and in the creation of it. It's a constant creation. We're making new products, we're creating new labels, we're trying to do a better job of what we're already doing. We're trying to make better food for our people. And it, it never ends. It's a journey that just continues. It's hard to imagine as we visited Benzie County for the first time, we were driving through and we stopped and looked at the natural beauty here and, and you know, a little seed was planted like, oh, it'd be nice to live here someday. I couldn't even imagine having something like we do now. But I think it's just when you get that seed and it gets planted in your head and you, you just, just go with it and, 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 and keep working at it. And like I say, I couldn't imagine being the founder of something like this, but uh, it's, it's good. <laughs>